Right, there was something about yeah. the character. I wanted, I wanted a Wonder Woman tattoo just because of the W. <laughs> That's the only tattoo so, I almost got. <laughs> so is that what's on your lower back? Shut up. I don't have any tattoos somehow. No stamps. Yeah. Somehow. I like... Uh, somehow I've <laughs> managed to evade that one. <laughs> I went to college over there for a little bit, right. and then from there back, to, you know, back to Sarasota. Then went to Life University in Marietta, Georgia. This is the whole car thing, and they lost their accreditation, so I lost everything. Then I went to Parker in Dallas. See, that's how the unknown got me to Dallas. When I'm in Dallas, I meet my wife. So was it worth losing forty thousand dollars of student loans and all my credits because they wouldn't transfer any credits, and losing all that time and money and to go to Dallas, because so in the in the micro it seemed horrible, but in the macro I met my wife, and then I would have never made it to Houston if I never made it to Dallas. And then there's abundant life, and the hundreds of thousands of lives that would change. And then becoming the top chiropractor in my history, my profession, to inspire other chiros to be better. I personally think that the whole thing went down just for me to do what I had to do. Sometimes I think life is that way. You know, if there's that one person that's going to uh, answer the call big enough, I think I think that whole thing could have been just for me. But I know a lot of people that due to that accreditation, they got it back. It's actually a wonderful. I would send my kids to that school now. What had to, what happened had to happen for me and for everybody else. So I I totally believe that. Marietta, Georgia was great, beautiful. We're going there. We're going to Buckhead. Dallas not so great compared to Marietta. Really? Yeah, Marietta is way nicer. Beautiful there. We got an email from a guy named Matt. Hey Chris, uh, I've followed your videos for a long time now. I love what you're doing for chiropractic in the profession. 45, I'm had a motorcycle accident, left me paraplegic um, from the chest down. Said, I, I'm really lucky. I've managed to get back into practice. Married an amazing woman, had two amazing kids. He has a upper motor neuron problem uh, for a long time now, and it looks like kidney failure in the next five years. Um, if he has five years of decent health left uh, in order to set up his family, and his, his children are six and nine, and you're not, I know you're not out to rip people off. So I thought I would just put it out there and see if you have any ideas. At the moment, I maxed out in practice. There isn't a lot of profit there, and I don't want to work the next five years and have nothing to show for it for my family. I totally understand if you don't have any ideas, but I thought it was worth a try. Thanks. No, I have an idea. Yeah? So Matt's saying that he technically was given probably five years to live. Is that correct? Matt, you have just entered into, and I'm not, and I'm, Matt, I, I'm not saying this to envy you, but I'm, I'm actually envying the situation you're in right now. But there's a guy who wrote something called, he did the last lecture. So listen, what he did, he had pancreatic cancer. He was giving months to live. To him, it wasn't, how can I financially get them stable? For him, his main thing was, what legacy and what can I leave for my kids? So what he did was, he, he, he did this lecture. And when you're watching the lecture, it's basically like things to live by in life. You know, in, at the end of the day, what really mattered, that whole lecture was for his kids. He didn't have five. He had maybe two years, maybe. He wrote a book. He was on Oprah. All of that and the books and everybody coming behind that message
because he went for an impact, the side effect was his family is now completely set financially for life. So do you see, so in the ashes, you got a phoenix out of that to find the beauty in that and know that you've been given a specific opportunity to go. And now, see, that's the thing. You are a chiropractor who is only adjusting so many people per week, which is amazing, dude. I don't even know how the hell you are adjusting people. So just think you impacted 10 to 70 people a week and now you've just been given the opportunity, watch this, to impact over a hundred million people. And you will be able, be able to inspire a, a world that is living in a secret identity. You will actually be able to give other people permission to get off their butts and to make a difference in this world. So, so some people, sometimes your superpower is a situation. So it's in the moment. This is in the moment is when you choose how you react to it. You're going to either be the hero or you're going to be the secret identity. You, you either, you're going to either phase away into life or you're going to leave an impact that will change the world forever where someone will talk about you in the future saying, Hey, did you see this video of this doctor who was paraplegic still kept working? He fought with the depression of how am I going to supply for my family? He may not live. And, and with that, with all that there, he went out and impacted the world. The impact you have now without you being able to use your feet and legs, is an impact that I, I, I that most people can never do with every limb working perfect with perfect kidneys. So this is now your opportunity. I want you to see it that way, Matt. And I want you to stay in contact with Tabor Eye. And I promise you, I will connect you with ever who I have to connect you with. But here's the thing, dude, you have to decide to transform and do that. So I would highly recommend you tell your story and you get on stages and that's how you do it, man but I think you got the story now. So now, now that now it's the time, the clock's ticking down for you to make, and your goal should be the scoreboard is how many people can I shift their mind and make an impact? Let's contact Matt and Matt will be on the Ask Dr. Zeno show next Wednesday night. And Matt, you're going to tell your story to us next Wednesday night. We're starting it. That. We'll have you on the show and we'll just, we'll, let's just talk it out, man. Start sharing, sharing your story. And that this will, that'll be your first kind of demo reel so to speak, that we get out to the world. How's that? That's my support to you. That's like, you're the story I've been waiting to hear. Yep. So that's what I'm saying. So part of the hero, you know, the, the, one of the purposes of the hero is to discover the unique gifts and talents that you've been given. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to use the term discover. I'm actually changing my verbiage to remembering. And the reason why I say remember is because mm -hmm. if I tell you to discover something, that means you don't have it. Yeah, it's yeah, somewhere you have to go find outside it there. and make yourself better. Instead of making yourself yep. better, it's already what in if, you. What if I told you it's not under a rock, there's no, there's no self-improvement, that it's just about you remembering. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. you, like it's it's there in you, it's just about remembering your gifts and talents mm -hmm. and remembering your purpose. And, uh, <laughs> so, and the reason someone said you guys are on early today because we literally are now in four minutes. We're gonna get in the car <laughs> and we got to uh, jump on a, on a trip. We're going to Atlanta, Georgia to the Live It to Lead It uh, seminar with Dr. Dan Papa. I'll be speaking tomorrow and you'll, again, you'll see, you're gonna, you know, you will see this because <laughs> we'll do a Facebook a Live and also Timmy D and the crew will be there. So everything's documented to see the part of the hero's journey that we're going to to inspire you and to leave the blueprint where you could give yourself permission and confidence to do what it was God created you. All right, Timmy, time for ATL, dude.